What's going on everyone? Vince the Longineer here. This is going to be step two of our lawn renovation for 2022. We are scalping and dethatching, so stay tuned. All right, so this is actually gonna be a very quick video. I have to work fast because looks like we've got some pretty nasty weather headed our way. I've got soil coming tomorrow, so I can't mess around, but I wanna go over with you everything you're gonna need to scalp and dethatch a lawn. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is scalp the lawn. So we've got our mower here. We are basically gonna be working our way down on the height of cut adjustment. So we're basically gonna start working our way down all the way until we bottom out the mower. You want that mower to be as low as it can go. You also want the bagger on because you wanna be collecting all those clippings. When you collect those clippings, over where I'm at, we throw them out in the garbage. If you got a place to put them, you wanna collect all this stuff because you wanna get all that stuff up and off the ground so that you get good seed to soil contact. After you're done with the scalping, you wanna come in and dethatch. So this is gonna get down to the soil level and break up that thatch layer. So this machine here, this is the Earthwise dethatcher. Great machine, makes quick work of it. If you don't have a machine like this, don't worry. There are dethatching rakes like this, a little bit more labor intensive, but they work great too. Uh, this is called the Groundskeeper 2 thatch rake. I actually made a video a couple weeks ago detailing everything you'll need for a complete lawn renovation and mentioned these things right here. So these are great tools to have um, if you can get them. At the very least, that Greenskeeper 2 thatch rake it's a really great tool, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, if you have a small area, I've done it for up to 4,000 square feet. Yeah, it takes a lot of work, it's a lot of effort, but you're gonna get a great workout and it's gonna look amazing when you're finished. Um, if you have the extra money, go ahead and get a machine like one of these dethatchers here. There's quite a few of them on the market. They even have battery powered ones now, so you don't have to pull a cord around. So look into that, maybe that's something that might interest you. Um, I'm gonna be using the machine today and I'll use a little bit of the rake just to help get some spots that I can't reach with the machine. But other than that, most of the work's gonna be done with the machine. So you might be wondering why dethatch? Why scalp and dethatch? Well, what I wanna to try to accomplish here is removal of the existing turf and better seed to soil contact. Now, I am bringing in a lot of soil, a lot of topsoil that will be arriving first thing tomorrow morning. I'm trying to remove as much of this material as possible uh, because I don't want layers of organic material. So I don't want there to be the soil layer that's here existing right now, then a layer of thatch and grass, and then a layer of soil above that. I'm trying to get as much of this as possible out of the ground, but there's still gonna be the roots in the ground still here. There are still gonna be little bits and pieces of this grass here. I'm just trying to do my best to get as much of it out of the ground as possible without uh, going full send and mechanically removing all of the grass kind of like with a sod cutter or something like that. But I don't think it's necessary. I had success doing this at my old property. It worked out fine. However, if you were opting to work with what you have, after dethatching here, I would recommend go ahead, do core aeration and do your seeding then. Um, and then maybe a top dressing like peat moss or something over top to then you know, finish out your renovation. All right, fast forwarding, what you see behind me is the dethatching that was done. It is the next day. I wanted to jump in here real quick and just mention that if you were planning not to bring in soil, then that's what I'm saying is you, you might wanna consider doing a core aeration to open up this existing soil. I'm bringing in a load of soil, so this is gonna have a nice, fresh, fluffy coating of topsoil. Um, it's not going to need any mechanical aeration, so it'll be good to go, good, to, good and ready to seed after we spread it out. Um, but if you were not planning on bringing any of that topsoil in, then um, I recommend you consider core aerating your existing area. 
Now, one of the things I like to do is basically mow, dump the clippings, lower the mower, mow again, dump the clippings, lower the mower, mow again until I'm completely bottomed out with the mower. Then we are ready to switch machines and go to the dethatcher. And then this is where a lot of that thatch and gunk and buildup really comes up out of the soil. Just when you think you've got everything, wait until you see what happens when we run this machine here. This machine is gonna pick up so much stuff. You're gonna wonder like, where did this stuff even come from? It's incredible how much this is gonna pick up. So let's get right into it. Well, looks like the rain came too soon. So we're gonna to have to wait this one out until uh, it dries out a bit before we can run that electric dethatcher. All right, so we are back. I hear some thunder in the background, so we've got to work quickly. Um, it's starting to dry out. It's not quite as dry as I need it to be. So I'll probably run the blower over this and try and dry it out as best I can with the blower. Now it's time to dethatch. So it's a little too dark out here, but uh, this is what we have. Some of the results from the dethatching picks up all this crap. So the entire lawn is now covered in this thatch buildup. Now the next step is to rake all this stuff up um, and I'll probably clean up mow and then we should be ready to receive our soil delivery tomorrow. So I'll see you in just a couple seconds, hang tight. All right, it is the next morning and this is what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with this. So the truck is actually on its way here to deliver the soil, but let me show you what this looks like up close. All right, so as you can see, you can see those dark brown spots. That's all dirt. That's the actual dirt that we're trying to get to. If you want that good seed to soil contact, that's what you're looking for. And uh, you can kind of see that, you know, dark brown haze all over the place. So we did a pretty good job of getting all that thatch out. I think that looks great. You can see my piles back there. It's from last night, I didn't get to bag those up. I got like, you know, five, six bags over there that we were able to collect last night. It was almost like 9.30 at night before I finished or before I called it, um, but that's what we've got left to clean up. So this truck will back up right here and dump its first load. And then I think it'll come back with a second load and dump it right around there. So pretty pleased with that. I can't complain. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for joining.